Johns County, the Catholic Church is clarifying plans for development on the Mission Nombre de Dios grounds. There's been major pushback from people who live in the community who say they're worried about more traffic, more noise. Locals started a petition against the construction that now has more than 1,600 signatures. News for Jack's reporter Allison Henning joining us live from that site tonight. Allison, the Catholic Church, they wanted to clear up misinformation and they've also made some changes to their plans. Yes, the Bishop of St. Augustine announced that plans for a parking garage in the place of this lot have been taken off the table. I am told that discussion was a result of the church listening to what people in this community had to say. The holy and historic grounds of Mission Nombre de Dios, a well-known site in the city of St. Augustine. Recently, it's been facing pushback from locals over development. I'm totally against it. The look of the area has changed over the past few years after suffering severe damage from Hurricanes Matthew and Irma. Repairs required a major investment, so the Catholic Church decided to take that as a chance to beautify and protect the historic grounds. Construction already underway on parts of the property. Further plans include new landscaping, a rosary garden, and an earthen amphitheater that would hold up to 1,200 people. It would start over here, and by the way, there are trees that are going to be inside of it for shade. Neighbors opposing the plans are worried about large events and popularizing the site. It's the traffic, it's the intrusion into the neighborhood, it's the loss of serenity in a place that should be just quiet and serene. It's just a beautiful view and it's just going to be ruined. The intent was never to commercially rent out the open air seating and that's what we're calling it honestly now because we realize there's a very negative connotation with the word amphitheater um, so we're calling it open air seating executive director joanna stark understands some of the concerns but says growth isn't the goal of this project it does get busy it does get crowded but what we're doing um, isn't to draw in and bring in large numbers of people what we're doing is to enhance the experience of those people already coming The site plan still making their way through the planning and zoning board and through the city approval process at this time. But officials here with the mission grounds tell me that they are hoping to have all of that construction complete by October 2020. Reporting live from St. Augustine, Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.